guys, it's your girl Leslie, your favorite YouTube lesbian. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Happy Followers Friday! If you don't know what Followers Friday is, that is where I choose an Instagram follower of mine at random. I also choose a look of theirs at random, and I have to attempt to recreate it no matter what it is. That's the challenge. So if you want to see who this week's follower is, then just keep on watching. If you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm Leslie. Before you leave, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss an episode. And yeah, let's get into who the follower is this week. All right, let me grab my notes. Oh, before I do that, duh, the Followers Friday song. Let's do it, yo. A one and a two and a it's Friday. Oh yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. All right. Now let me get my notes. Today's follower goes by the name X Des Hurt X on Instagram. Otherwise, her name is Desiree Hurtado. Okay. If you're a tattoo person like I am, hence I'm wearing my ink shirt. Can you see it? Can you see it? Ink. Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> as soon as I saw her last name, my first thought was the world-renowned, amazing tattoo artist, Nico Hurtado. And I was like, oh my god, is she related to him? I looked at her bio again. She is located in Riverside, which is only 45 minutes from me. And I know Nico got started up here. So, I don't know if there's a good possibility, but if you are a girl, just tell him I said what's up and I love him. I'm a huge fan. If not, damn it. <laughs> anyway, she is a brow artist, also a makeup artist. So, on her page, I noticed she does a lot of neon colors, which you guys know I love. She also does a lot of glam and goth which, again, I think is fucking awesome. I wish I had the balls to pull it off, but I don't. So, yeah. Desiree is our follower of the week, and let's get this started. Well, alrighty, y'all. Let's jump on in the look, shall we? Yeah, I don't know. So, we're going to be working out of the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette and the ColourPop uh -uh Honey Palette. And we're going to be using the neon pink pigment from Mermaid Scale Cosmetics. All right, let's do this. Eyes prime, but today I use the Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Yeah, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer as primer. I think I just said that. Okay, so the first color we're going to jump into is in the Dominique's Cosmetics palette called Zero Gravity. This is a pretty purpley gray. I should have used this one in, in the last look. Yeah. And we're gonna start by putting this in our crease. My base is not set, so the first few rounds of this, I'm just going to pat into my crease. No, y'all know the deal. What are we doing this weekend? What am I doing? Oh my god, thank you for asking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, this weekend, I will be rolling out with my cousin, who is a cop. I go on ride-alongs with him. A sheriff, let me say that, so he doesn't throw a fit. <laughs> I go on ride-alongs with him a lot, and it's so much fun. I freaking love it. I love being the first to the action, you know? I think that's why I wanted to be an EMT so bad because you're like first on the scene. You know what I mean? But back then, paramedics didn't get paid shit for the amount of work that they do. So that's why I decided to get into nursing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. We're rolling out this weekend, so if you live by me, you better watch the fuck out, because we're coming for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll keep going. Mm 
Of course, we do have some tea to talk about today as well. I mean, I guess since I brought it up, I should talk about it now. I don't know. They have, you know, that fucking channel I was telling you guys about, that A, it's tea time, ratchet ass channel. They have, like, launched an all-out fucking slanderous war on Petty Page. Now, a lot of people don't like Petty Page. I love her. She speaks the truth no matter what. She's like me, no fucking filter. And so they, for whatever reason, have been coming for her. They even made a fucking Wikipedia page talking shit about her. Like, I don't know, it's just sad. And it made her cry on a fucking IG Live. That shit ain't right, you guys. You guys need to fucking chill. Like, you guys need clout that bad that you have to tear someone else down? Nah, get the fuck out of here with that. I can't stare at these two. Well, mostly the one who yaks his mouth the whole time. The other one, the drag, whatever. The one that just sits here and goes. Ugh, I can't. I cannot. Hmm. Anyway, it's fucked up, and I think you guys need to fucking apologize. Which I know you won't. You're the type of person that thinks that your shit don't stink and you do nothing wrong. But you need to. <sighs> okay. Next up, we are going to go into Lunar Eclipse, which is the pretty orange color. And we're going to blend this over the top. This week's tea, I actually think it may have even started last week. I don't know. But they're out of control. First they came for Dustin, then they tried to come for Nick. Now it's Pity Page. Like, just stop. Just stop. You guys look dumb as fuck. So, I finally made the jump to an Apple Watch. I know, I know. I have an iPhone, XS Max. I never wanted an Apple Watch simply based on the way it looked. I have had the Samsung Watch for quite a while because it's pretty and it just looked more like a watch to me and it was round. I don't like, like the squareness of the Apple Watch. But... At first, I didn't think that the, like, you can't respond if you link a Samsung watch to an iPhone. It'll work. You'll get your notifications, but you can't respond. That didn't bother me for the first few months, but now it bothers me. So, I got an Apple watch. I know. It's pretty fucking cool, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. Although the heart rate sensor on the Samsung watch seems to be a little more sensitive. Just go there with it but so far so good i've only had it for like a week so yeah. all right switch over to the uh -uh high palette and we're gonna grab ovs and sweet spot and go over the top of the last shade hello My foundation looks any different. I am doing a foundation wear test and review, so you guys will have to check that one out to see what I'm trying. She didn't use a lot of the yellow, but because of my skin tone and not setting the base, I do have to use a little bit more so that it's got some staying power throughout the day. You know? You know? Ooh, you guys. I got a new unit. Yes, I did. I can't wait to show her to you. I think I'm going to do another, like, review slash unboxing type deal. So look out for that, too. 
All right, going back to the Celestial Thunder and back into Lunar Eclipse, let's put this back. Isn't this pigment like insane? I love her stuff. All right, that is good for now. All right, we're going to put the zero gravity back, but I'm going to do that with a little precise brush because I really want to focus on that line. So just trace over where we put it before. I have a bone to pick with someone. I wasn't going to bring this up in this video, but I can't really get it off my mind, so I'm going to need to talk about it. Especially since I'm wearing the unit. So. As you guys may remember, I did an unboxing and review of this wig. From, I believe her name was An Angelique or Angelix. I don't remember. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, so, about a week or so after doing that video and uploading it, somebody commented and... I don't know if they're like a, a sub of mine or if they just came across it because of the name, but whoever it was, whoever you are, commented on that video. Hold on. Go back into zero gravity with um, like a bigger brush and we're going to go ahead and put outer and inner. Anyway. They commented on that video and said to me, Oh my god, you fell for her scam. Ha 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 ha. Or something like, she got you ha laughing though. And they were like, oh, you know, she's a scam. She buys those cheap ass wigs from, I don't know what these, I'm going to have to put it up there, from AliExpress or some stupid shit like that. And she lies and said that she didn't make it, blah, blah, blah. And it's horrible quality, her wigs. Now, I don't have a problem with that. Leave a comment. Let me know. Cool. I appreciate that, you know? Woman to woman or whoever you are. However, the problem therein lies in your delivery. Why would you laugh at someone who got taken by a scam artist like why is that funny to you if that were me i would have been like hey girl like i just wanted to let you know blah 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 blah, blah. i'm not gonna laugh first like oh my god you got fucked over like what the fuck is wrong with you yeah cool let me know and i don't really care because i love this wig She's everything to me. She needs a bath right now. <laughs> but she's been a fantastic wig. She doesn't shed. She doesn't do anything that a AliExpress, no offense if you wear them, wig would do. So I appreciate it, but I think you need to work on your delivery. So that's, that's my rant for today. Like, don't you guys think that's fucked up? Like, why would you laugh? Like, I can't stand people that troll. I just really can't. All right, let's add some of the orange back, which was Lunar Eclipse. I'm kind of gonna blend this in the outer corner as well. Like, I am, I know I said it was over, but I'm not. I am, 
by no means a league expert or connoisseur to, you know, necessarily. But I've been wearing wigs for a year now. So I do know a little bit about quality and things of that nature. So I don't, I'm not worried about it. If I like it, I like it. Like, mind your business. That's better. Let's go back to ColourPop and get our yellows again. And swirl it out here. And here. On a lighter note, y'all, it's my birthday month. I'll link my cash app down below if you want to cash out me some birthday money. If everybody sent me like a dollar or five dollars, that would be great. All right, I'm gonna put a little touch of sunburst under the arch of the brow. Just right there. All right, so I'm gonna go finish off the eye, throw on some black liner, smudge the same colors under, and I will be back. All right, guys, I am back and the look is complete. What do we think? Hopefully we have made Desiree proud. All I did for the rest of my face was I contoured and bronzed and blushed out of the Tartus Pro Blow palette. Um, oh, on the inner corner, she did pop a bit of a yellow shimmer, so I took one of those from the Uh Uh Honey palette. On my lips, I have them lined with the NYX lip liner in pale pink, and we are wearing the Ofra liquid lip in Verona. Last but not least, of course, are the lashes. These are actually from Lotus Lashes. These are in the style. Their styles are weird. They're like listed by number, not by name. So these are FX21. I love them, actually. They are light and wispy, but still dramatic. So it's right up my alley. All right, this is it for this week's Followers Friday. Make sure that you head over to Desiree's Instagram page, spam her with likes, and show some while you're there, show some love for me on Instagram. I will have my Instagram down below just in case you want to be considered for the next episode. Obviously, you have to be following me on Instagram. Yeah. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell so you don't miss when I upload. I love you all. <laughs> all right. I'm out. Have a good weekend. Bye.